Here's a story tonight that's sure to warm your heart and put a smile on your face as well. A young boy in West Seneca is showing all of us he has a huge heart and a ton of talent. Here is 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson. We leave off as Pigman just stopped somebody that was robbing the bank. It's all in the day's work. A little boy's big imagination and a crime-fighting pig are helping a classmate in need. I, honestly, I wasn't sure if it was going to sell. Jana Marie Zakowitz says she was hesitant about her 10-year-old son Kyle's big fundraising idea. After fire damaged his friend's home last week, the Allendale Elementary student decided he needed to lend a helping hand. That's just a lot to go through, so I, could, I thought I could help. Thankfully, no one was hurt in the fire, but the little girl and her family suffered a big loss. The home suffered a lot of damage, and Kyle's classmate lost just about everything. So the avid sketch artist decided to sell his comic about a crime-fighting superhero, half pig, half man, to people in his neighborhood. He would literally flag people down. He'd, you know, come on, and he'd point at the sign, and... Um, people would stop when the first person stopped. You should have just seen the look on his face. He was, it was pure pride. It didn't take long before the fifth graders' comics were going for more than just a dollar. The time I sold my first comic, people only paid one dollar, but then, like, for the rest of the time, it was everybody, they gave me at least three dollars for it. Strip by strip, page by page, a little boy with a big heart is helping the family rebuild. And according to Kyle, his classmate is thankful. She said, oh my God, thank you. First of all, like something along those lines. Therefore, that ends this episode of The Adventures of Pigman. Hey guys, hope you like the comic. And so far, the West Seneca fifth grader has raised $80. So Keith and Ashley, he says he's not sure what the family's going to do with the money or how long he's going to fundraise, but he just says this is what any friend would do to help help anyone else. He's got the right idea, that guy, I think. Yeah, I think so. It's amazing what these guys could teach us. It's so creative. All right. Thank you, Sierra. And, of course, if you want to help out, we've got all the information for that on our website.